The local Bayer Business Bureau says they're concerned about a Warner Robins auto shop after getting several complaints. Some customers say the shop took their money and never completed the work. Kalisha Moore talked to one of those customers and found out what legal options they have. Just behind me is Houston Automotive and Transmission Center. The Better Business Bureau website lists several reviews of the business with details alleging stolen parts, thousands of dollars being taken with no repairs, and cars being held for months. Jared Kemp says repairs on his son's car has turned into a three-month nightmare. My 15-year-old son worked for a year to save up money to have his first car by the time he turned 16. So. Uh, we found this company, called the guy, uh, yeah, no problem, we can have that fixed in a week. Kemp says he should have recognized the red flags early, but the more he spoke with the owner, the clearer they became. I'm going to need the money up front, so we gave him $4,000. He said his uh, printer and credit card machine was broken. I didn't really think of anything of it at the time, but uh, he asked for a cash app, so we did cash app him $4,000 that day. He's not the only one. Several complaints to the Better Business Bureau say owner Logan Simmons asked for money up front on repairs, but kept vehicles for up to nine months. Some say the shop took parts from their car and wouldn't return. When you see eight complaints with the Better Business Bureau, that's usually just the tip of the iceberg. Kelvin Collins with the Bureau says he couldn't find any Georgia law that outlines how long mechanics can keep your car. He says that's usually a civil matter, but could become a criminal case. Really what you have to look into is intent, and is the intent of the business to defraud the consumer? If it is, then that is something that can be um, prosecuted criminally. Collins advises people to do their research, get agreements in writing, and using payment methods like credit cards, something Kip, in hindsight, wishes he did. Uh, I would just warn people from giving this company your money. Uh, definitely read the reviews. Uh, I, I understand I'm in a lengthy battle right now, and I just don't want anybody else to have to deal with this. In Warner Robins, Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News. Kelvin Collins says the repair shop hasn't responded to any of the complaints, so he's reported them to the state attorney general and the Federal Trade Commission. As for Kep, he says he plans to file a civil suit. We went to the shop and asked to speak to Simmons today. He did not respond.